Hi Nana, are you sleeping? No, I'm in my little cot. You know, they put me in a little cot now with the spies on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Why have you had a baby? Yeah, I know. I don't know. And it's and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember I told you about Australia? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. My visa got accepted. Oh, jolly good. Yeah. Oh, great. I'm very pleased for you. That's a very good start. It's a wonderful opportunity. I know, it's just a long way, so it's not exactly up the road if anything happens. No, but you can't look at life like that, can you? You know, you, you go you go when you can go because it is one hell of a journey, it is. Yeah. And um, only wishes are very best. Thank so you, I'll Nana. Thank you, of course. So there you are. If someone else was in my position who wanted to go, would you say to them that they should just do it? Yeah, but everybody's scared before they step on a long trip. Yeah. Go and it'll change. No, you can't. And, and, you, and you don't know what's going to happen in the end. Yes. Yeah, you don't exactly. Know, you don't know anything. I wish you could come and eat my lunch for me. <laughs> I'm going to be sold off for this. Well, I love you, Nana. I love you, and I only wish you the very, very best. Okay? To you too, okay, Nana. Well. Okay, lots of love. Bye bye. Bye. Just thought I'd have a quick browse on how much Australian food costs compared to the UK and thinking about the difference between the Australian dollar and the Great British Pound it's not too bad until I saw this like what? $30 for a watermelon? <laughs> It's time to start packing. So the start of packing begins. I've actually made, well I've gone through all of my clothes and just everything and I've made little piles. What I would really like to take and then stuff I would like to take but don't know if it can fit in so I have <laughs> a fair bit which I'd like to take and not a very big suitcase so this is counted as a large suitcase never used it before so I don't even know how much stuff is even going to fit in here but I got a soft case because I don't know where I'm going to end up and having a hard case just takes up a huge amount of room but this soft case can be more packed down and better at storing so Just so much stuff. I've got camping stuff here, I've got jeans, I've got shoes, jackets, gym wear. So in this section I'm just gonna put in the things that I really want first and then you know anything else that doesn't fit in it doesn't fit in. So the first thing is camping stuff. You know tent is priority. Camping stuff is priority. I've been putting off packing for some time. It makes things more real because you're packing up your life into a suitcase and this suitcase is everything that I'm bringing. I've pretty much given most of my wardrobe and everything away. So packing is the biggest step for me, I feel like. Okay, even that takes up a huge amount of room. But all my cooking stuff, my camping cooking stuff, this guys, if you ever go camping, this is the Trangia. It was the first real cooker I ever bought for camping. I heard great things about it and it's honestly been so amazing. <laughs>
feeling I'm gonna have to do some swap overs. This is how strict we're going, guys. I'm even going through all of my makeup pieces, which I haven't used in a while, are going. I'm literally just having the basic stuff. <laughs> so in this section, I've only done one section so far. I haven't started the other side yet. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot more clearing out to do. Hi, so it has been a few days since I've picked up the camera to film for you guys. It's been what I feel like very similar days, just packing things away and sorting things out. And I've also been pretty hectic, actually. It's been a pretty hectic couple of days just thinking about it. Also seeing family and saying goodbye to them. So I feel like it's been a very emotional couple of days. And now that Australia is only a couple of days away, things are starting to feel... Yeah, definitely mixed emotions, but I thought I'd show you guys how the house is looking at the moment. A few empty cupboards, still what I feel like stuff to sort out, I guess. But I'm in the middle of trying to sort out my aeroplane bag. And yeah, it's quite nice because I was looking at the requirements and I can actually bring a big carry-on bag which is included in the flight so I'm bringing my rather large North Face bag because I thought, you know, if I can save space oh, ow, my drawers have been broken for such a long time <laughs> just haven't fixed them so this is the the suitcase situation, I've managed to sort a few things out, I ha did have to get rid of a fair amount, but this is the stuff which I'm hoping to put in the carry-on baggage. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and do. At the moment, I've only put a few things in there, so I'm trying to make this as easy as possible because, you know guys, like with bags like this, if you put something that you really need at the bottom, it's going to be an absolute nightmare trying to get everything out of the bag when you're in a rush and you're kind of stressed out already. You know, that airport kind of anxiety in life, you know, just want everything to be stress free. Um, so I'm trying to think, you know, what's the most important things and what needs to go in the top, what stuff can just sink at the bottom. So I have a rather messy pile here too with the stuff that I'd also like to take. So I've got my vans which are not getting left behind, they are not. I have my winter gloves, I don't know why I'm going to bring them but I don't want to get rid of it. So what's also happened is because I am like wiping out the whole of this place, well where I am, two floors worth of stuff. Anything that I can't take, I pretty much have to get rid of. So it's a pretty big decision, you know, thinking about all the stuff I'm going to take, what, I, what I've got to get rid of. But I have done a lot of getting rid of and giving away, which, you know, it's nice because it's giving away to people who can use it. I'm going to bring this jacket too. I'm trying to sort out what to wear as well because I feel like when you're going on such a long journey... 27 hours it's important to be comfortable but also when you get to the other end of where you're traveling to you've got to kind of be suitably dressed for that too so at the moment luckily where i'm going sydney the weather isn't too different at the moment from where it is here in the uk it's coming up to the end of summer here and it's coming up to the end of winter there so it's I feel like that's really handy actually. It's not like baking hot there and freezing cold here. So it makes life so much easier. So I'm thinking guys, these boots are beyond huge and heavy. And then I've picked up these. I actually found this brand. It is called, oh, here we go. Danish Endurance. Really good brand. I actually picked up their socks from Amazon for the ultra marathon because I didn't have any proper running socks and they were beyond amazing. So I had a look at flight socks and really usefully their brand came up and these are compression socks which can be used as flight socks. Guys, if you're looking for any really good running socks or anything like that, they have such a huge range and their quality is amazing. And then at the moment... 
I've left these on the side because I'd like to wear them as well because they're just, you know, light and comfortable and I thought they would be good to wear as well and then just maybe give this jumper a wash and wear that too. That's what I'm thinking for airport wear. Oh, I'm also going to pack some fluffy socks which are currently in the wash because, you know, comfort. <laughs> and, you know, this jacket... Because it's a down jacket, it's amazing. It's one from North Face. I've worn this hiking and climbing mountains a good few times. Really good. Also use this because it's so puffy and cosy as a flight pillow. So I'm really trying to think about absolutely everything here. Um, so just going to pack a few things. I'm really hoping because this is my rather large tripod. I'm hoping it's going to fit in the backpack too, but it's going to have to be a last minute kind of pack. I have the Australian, famous Australian toy. <laughs> Protein, hiking poles, and also I'm going to bring the Australian notebooks. I've got all sorts of round. Look guys, I have water purifying fine tablets. Don't know why I'm bringing those, but they don't exactly take up much room. And then sunglasses notepad and then you're also allowed to bring see guys there's so much mess going on here i'm also allowed to bring one handbag so what well, i'm not normally a handbag person just have one for the passport and important documents and things that you need quite quickly so i thought that would be really useful as well so this is what i've packed one of these oh i can't open with one hand two seconds I'm packing one of these thermal flasks because, you know, the coffee on the flight might not be great. So I have stuffed coffee sachets in here, which I always buy these for camping because it's just so easy. And, you know, you have everything there, two in one, milk and coffee, utilizing space, guys. And then I've also have, which is a leftover from camping, is a whisper hot chocolate. So, you know, a bit of comfort and a bit of caffeine all getting stuffed inside here so you know we don't have a coffee problem because we have lots of sachets in here to last the whole flight so the most important thing in the whole bag <laughs> and then i also thought it would be a good idea to pack all of the most important documents in here uh yeah you can see that i used my last biology papers to print the most important documents but you know, they won't check the back, hopefully. And then I thought this was quite sweet. So, because I'm not going to be seeing my sister for a while, this is a photo of us. <laughs> Funny enough, also in Australia in 19... Oh my gosh, that sounds so old to say. 1997. This is Australia, if it wants to focus. Also in Australia, because I did live there for not very long when I was very young. Which one do you think I am? This one? Or baby? I was the baby. Blonde, blue eyes, that was me. <laughs> My sister is on the left. So I thought it'd be quite nice just to bring this along. Little touches of family. All of my family have asked, you know, is there anything I can get to you for your travels? And, you know, which is so, so kind of them. And I just said, you know, if you actually want to get me anything, if you want to get me anything at all, just something really small, but something that's meaningful. So what my sister actually did, which, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I'm currently trying to open it. <laughs> she brought me this necklace, which most likely will get tangled up along the way. It's, don't you find it really strange how your jewellery can just do that? Sometimes I just put it on the side and I pick it up and it's like in a hundred knots. I'm like, how did you do that? Did you move? It's a little bit small, so you guys... I'm gonna try and... Oops. Get you guys to see. So it says sister and then her name, Taryn, and my name. And in this, in these like loop. It's so thoughtful and so beautiful. So I have that. And then inside my suitcase, which I will show you guys once I've unpacked, because it's going to be a nightmare to find. It's at the bottom of my case somewhere. It's one of those rustic mugs that they got personalised for me. My god sister and my godmother. 
which you know because i love rustic camping mugs it just feels very outdoorsy and i love that and it has a caravan on it it says adventurers out there a bit like the up movie the up disney movie but for the next couple of days just packing the last minute bits clearing the house so it looks like no one's been here so i will see you guys in a couple of days <laughs>